welcome back to our channel. Hope you are all well. Thank you very, very much for all your comments, likes, and shares. Today, we've got a really, really exciting video. It's been so cold recently, and we've heard some news that there could be a polar bear in the local woods. So we're gonna treat this as like a search and rescue mission. We're gonna use the new DJI Matrice 4, show you how easy it is to use, how quick it is to set up. We're gonna do some zoom tests and distance tests. We're gonna see exactly what we can find in the woods and it should be a really, really good video. And the other good thing is, I'm gonna spend some good quality time with my son time. Nice day to walk in the woods for my son. <laughs> have you seen the new flip? Should we see if the flip will follow us through these woods? Have you seen my flip video? Where are you? Have you seen my flip video? Uh, no, I haven't, though. No. It's brilliant. So that will now be recording. And let's see, see if it, it follows us. through the woods, yeah. Because that will be recording now. So that will be a good test for it. Super clever. There is quite a lot of twigs around here. Is it going to fly? It's fly doing quite through? well. It's doing really well, isn't it? Yeah. Let me break that twig down for it. How clever is that? So you join us in our local woods um, with the Matrice 4. Such an interesting bit of kit, but today I really want to put it for its paces with, say, my son Tom. And one of the first tests I want to do is just to see how quickly you can actually get this drone in the air when you arrive on site. Okay, so no pressure, Tom. We're going to start the clock to see how, exactly how quickly we can get the Matrice 4 in the air once we've arrived on site. So, you ready? Let's Three, go. two, one, go. Thing we should be waiting on is um, getting satellites before we can take off. You need about 12 satellites before you can. You've got 21 satellites, so I can take off. So I'll stop the time when it takes off. Brilliant. So that's 47 seconds. That's pretty good, isn't it? Just 47 seconds to get unpacked and in the air once you arrived off site. Let's crack, crack on with the next tests. Right, so for the next test, we're gonna have it hovering and we're gonna see how quick we can get to the legal limit, which is 400 feet. And then we're gonna test the zoom capabilities out. So, three, two, one, let's go. Three hundred feet, three fifty, and four hundred. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it into infrared, and what I've got it set at is for it to alert me when something sort of in this box or in the area is pinging up over eight degrees. So there's something here. What's that there? So if I zoom in now, so I've got the link zoom on, so I'm just zooming in. That's quite a big heat source. It's coming up 11.8, basically 11, uh, 12 degrees there. So that's definitely like an animal maybe or something. I don't know, what is that? Oh, right, look. I'm zooming in on that now. That looks like a, that's a rabbit. This looks to me like it could be maybe another rabbit. Looks similar to the previous one. 
Maybe it's an episode of us just finding rabbits. Oh, no, it's a pigeon. So we've got a pigeon. And obviously uh, we're having a bit of fun with it today. We're finding little animals, but you know, for search and rescue, this drone can be applied in so many different cases. You know, mountain rescue teams can find missing people. The police can find suspects and also missing people. Um, there's so many uses for it. And at the time of this video, uh, we've got another Matrice 40, which is actually uh, with the police in one of our police contacts. So the drone actually came out last week and one of our customers has already got one on demo. So we found a rabbit and a pigeon in the space of a couple minutes. Just shows how capable this drone actually is. We've got some people in the forest there and some dogs. Obviously you can tell, I'm not gonna zoom in on them just for privacy reasons, but you can see the heat source pretty well. Let's keep going around now and see what else we can find. Might go a little bit deeper in. Oh, we found something, two heat sources, well, a few heat sources actually. One sort of a little bit closer. There's one here, let's see what this is. It's pinging off at about eight degrees. Oh, it's a bird, it's actually moving around. So it's just moved onto another tree branch. Let's see if we can catch it before it moves again. So we've got that, that is cool. So at the start of the video, I said there's a polar bear, um, possibly in, in the area. So we're gonna do a real life search and rescue now. Tom's gonna to take the drone up and see how quickly we can find this so-called polar bear. and definitely switch it into the infrared mode straight away. So we've got some people over there. Doesn't look big enough to be a polar bear. Let's have a look, can't see it yet. Oh, that looks big enough to be a polar bear. That might be our polar bear that we've just found. Let's put it into link mode now. Yeah, that's definitely the polar bear. So now we've got the heat subject. Just put it into the zoom mode. And yet yeah, we found the polar bear. What a rare sight. Never seen a polar bear in England. I've never seen a polar bear. Did you know they can smell their prey from 32 kilometers away? Maybe that's why he's going towards those people. You so never can know. you track the polar bear? So what I'll do, I'll put it into smart track just so we can keep an eye on this polar bear. So you tap it and then you draw a box. I can do it properly. Let's move it now. So it's saying the polar bear's a person. So now it's tracking on Tim's as the active track. So yeah. this is great. So say you um, you know, you wanted to do something else or you wanted to make sure you didn't lose it. And yeah. the camera and the drone's rotating now, isn't it? So yeah. the camera and the drone's keeping The drone's moving, the gimbal track. and the camera's moving as well. And can you zoom out from that? Will it uh, let to zoom out? Yep, yeah, you can zoom out and it will still still keep track. But it might find it a little bit hard obviously because it needs to be zoomed in, so it just makes it easier. If I zoom out, it's automatically zooming back in. It's finding it easier that way. And say so I wanted to give them coordinates to someone, how would I yeah. do that? So obviously he's moving right now, but what I can do is I tap this button here, draw a 3D line. And now what I do is I add it here. So this is just done, this is just drew a line here. And now if we go to our home point, which is just here draw another one it's telling me that's 98 feet away so the polar bear is actually coming um, and if it can smell the prey that's not really good for us so we need to land and get out of here so we need to get out of here basically let's land it so for example if this was a missing person obviously or a missing animal which it is um, if it's a missing person you could get on the uh, spotlight uh, if it's dark, you shine a spotlight on it, they do a DJI spotlight. Uh, they also do a DJI speaker as well. Um, for example, like mount mountain rescue teams could be alerting the missing person um, that they're there to help. Uh, and the police can also use this as well to inform them that, you know, they found them and to stop. So yeah, it's got loads of uses, the new Matrice 40. Right, so um, I'm going to try this AI tracking feature on one of the cars. 
So it's currently locking onto this one now. So I've got it into the smart track mode and it's just automatically going to pick up one of the cars. It's locked onto this one. Now, this is really good, you know, use cases like for the police, for example, if they wanted to follow a suspect in the car. Um, it will track on there automatically. It's sort of lost it now, but if I go back on it here and tap it, it should find it again. Yeah, so it's tracked on there. But yeah, that's that's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, so we've got a little bit of battery life left. I'm just gonna have a look what else we can find in the woods with the thermal camera. So we've got a little bit of heat here. Not too sure what that is. I'm just gonna drop it down a little bit just so we can see that a little bit better. So if we go into the normal zoom camera now, uh, that is a squirrel. So we've got a squirrel. And we've got another heat source, so it's sort of higher up. So let's have a look what this could be. This might have been something that we found earlier. So that's actually a bird's nest. So as, as Tom packs away, you can see just, just how clever this Matrice 4 is from, from finding squirrels and even polar bears in the woods. Um, a slight bit of heat, you can obviously zoom in and you can see obviously the quality of it. So it's fantastic for search and rescue. We're going to go back to the, the go back to the office now. I'm just going to talk through some specs or Tom's going to talk through some specs with you just as some more technical stuff we can share obviously why we've got the data in the office. But you know, hands down that this is very, very portable and, and obviously incredibly powerful and having the AI gives you a second pair of eyes when you are looking for people. So um, let's head back in the car. Let's go back into the warmth and um, discuss some specs. We're to another go on, on obviously the new DJI Flip. Um, I'm actually in love with this. us back in the warm and dry as you can see the the, the the matrice 4 is absolutely fantastic and also don't forget the neo flying for the woods i think that footage was really really cool as you can see we've got everything on charge now um, we're going to hand over to my son tom who's just going to touch through a few more specs and a bit sort of nerdy techie detail on the matrice 4. so obviously this drone is not aimed at consumers or hobbyists if you want something like that I'd go for dji mini 4 pro um, air 3s mavic 3 pro if you want good cinematography and consumer yeah. features this is definitely amazing for uh, people who want to use it for search and rescue purposes. Uh, the police force ideally can use this as well. Uh, the police in the UK and all over the world have been using enterprise drones like this one. Obviously this is the new one, the new and improved version. Um, and this is actually out uh, on demo with one of our customers at the moment. So that concludes another video. This channel is new. It's obviously very new for me. It's also very, very new for all my staff. And, and the actual business as a whole. But I just want to thank everyone personally because it's just a month, just over a month old, and we've got just under 600 um, subscribers. So if you want to follow our journeys this year, all you've got to do is just hit that subscribe button. It's free, it doesn't cost anything. And it would be really, really kind of you to, to like the video. But what I'd be most interested in is what you think of the Matrice 4. Um, so please do put in the comments. I read every comment and actually answer every comment uh, personally as well. And if you haven't missed my previous video where I got absolutely soaked, test, um, test flying the new DJI Flip, it's well worth a look. It's called um, I Get Soaked. No, DJI Flip Real World Review. 
So anyway, um, please like and subscribe. Sorry, I've got to say all this, but everyone seems to say like and share. But as I say, we really want to grow the channel and we really want to do the best job we physically can for you, showing you all these new products and what we obviously get up to here and these four businesses we run from our headquarters in Chichester. So um, I'll see you on the next video.